Hey, hey, my beautiful ladies. How are you all doing today? Hope you're good, hope you're okay, and hope you're fine. I am happy to be here again to present you with this beautiful speech. And number one that we are, nobody's talking about is that motherhood comes with a lot of negativities. But first off, I am a lover of children. I personally, unique mom, I love children and children love me. I love my children and I love them right back. But the truth, honey, is that sometimes I am not vibing. You didn't hear me right? I am not vibing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sometimes you're very scared to tell people exactly how you're feeling. And that's where my problem comes in from. Sometimes you feel some type of way you do not know who to talk to. And I don't understand why people want to judge us mothers on how we feel exactly. Okay, we don't feel this way all the time, but sometimes, majority of the times, we feel this way. Sometimes you feel, even as, as, as a mother, sometimes you feel depressed, you feel angry, you feel irritated, you feel like you want to run away. Sometimes even people, some people go as far as taking their own lives because they are very, like, their depression is on a high level. You feel very anxious. You feel very left out. You feel trapped. But honey, you're not alone. 99% of mothers feel this way too. It comes with, I don't know why. I don't know why we feel this way. It comes with the baggage. Like, it comes with the package of being a mother. Sometimes, there are some dreams that you want to achieve as a mom. You can't even achieve these things because your little angels are all over you. Like, you can't even think of growing without thinking of your children. It's natural. The reason I'm making this video is because I know that a lot of you mothers are very uncomfortable talking about how you feel because you don't want to be judged. In this part of the world, when you say, oh, I'm depressed, they'll be like, she should be grateful that God gave her children. Man, we are not ungrateful. We are grateful, but it's stressful. Okay? The reason of this video is to tell you that you are not losing your mind. You are okay. You are normal. You are, you are existing. Like, it's natural. It's natural to feel this way. Do not judge yourself. Do not be hard on yourself because um, a unique mom is not saying it. I shouldn't be saying it, I'm evil, I'm abnormal. No, darling, we are all saying it at some point. Stress is real. Depression is real. The earlier you accept these feelings, the better for all of us. And it's okay for you to talk to people about it. If you feel uncomfortable talking about it with your friends and family, go see a therapist. So honey, I want to be sharing with you some things that are listed down on my phone that you can be doing to ease your stress, your anxiety, to be able to function and be you, okay? So first off, I want you to have pretty enough time to rest. At least have about seven to eight hours of sleep that will help you to refresh. Secondly, you have to exercise often right you don't need to do the intensive exercises you can just go on a walk that will help you breathe you receive fresh air and you know do things that make you happy generally as exercise but on a third or rather the next is to listen to beautiful music we all have that favorite music move your body listen to good music that will help you to relax the third or uh, next rather is reduce things that stress you look like i said in my previous video there is no award given to any mother for being the most hard-working woman or the most hard-working mom all right so reduce all those things that stress you a whole lot everything will be fine just like if you're not around everything will be fine too okay so the next is to have a lot of Mm -hmm. knock a whole lot knock till your partner asks you you won't wound me <laughs> scratch that but sincerely speaking knocking will help you a whole lot okay 
So next on the list is also to eat healthy. All right, healthy meals keep you um, active, gives you strength, helps you in all area of your life. Okay, it helps you when you eat the right food. When it's time for you to sleep, you don't feel cranky, you just go to bed and there you go. So next is to take a cold shower once in a while. Not even once in a while, if you can tolerate it, because I have a friend that cannot have a cold shower. She reacts to it. So if you're that kind of person that can have it just like me, early in the morning is beautiful or late at night before you go to bed. It's okay to have a cold shower. Just do you, all right? Do anything that makes you happy. So last on my list, you can add yours, is to take a break from work, from everything that stresses you out, okay? If you feel that a relationship in your life is giving you stress, cut it out, all right? Just take a break from anything that you know that is stressing you. Okay, my lovers, until next time, stay safe and play big. I love you. Mwah.